Hello and welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. Today we're looking at one of these. Now there's a few names that I found for them. I grew up calling it a ditch cleaning fork, but I've found names uh, such as ditch hook and long draw fork. I bet you most of you, if you've seen one of these, have called it a, what in the world is that? Or whatever that is. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how I use it and uh, I use it for cleaning out ditches. It's a really handy tool and uh, you'll probably want to buy one if you do any flood irrigation, ditch irrigation, or even if you own a pond. Uh, they're a handy tool for cleaning out uh, debris floating on the top of the water. Let's walk over to the ditch and take a look at how it's used. When you use a ditch for irrigation, it's really common to get a bunch of debris in it. Um, and it's always a little bit of a mess to clean it up. One of these tools just makes life so much easier to, to do the work. Night and day difference. It doesn't work for cleaning out dogs though. I think it, uh, if anything, gets the dogs in the ditch and not out of it. It's also a great tool to use for um, clods of sod. It usually happen when you re-ditch a ditch. This isn't an example of re-ditched clod of sod, but you know it's been loosened up recently. Get right under it and move it. Any of you that have re-ditched a ditch before would watch this and say, hey, that's, that's a handy tool. You move all those around without even stooping over. I 
Thanks again for watching another simple ground video. Um, have you used this tool before? How do you use it? Tell me about what other tools you might like to see. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks as always for watching and taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.